fire signs to your numerology reading for August. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, this reading is for Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Loving this setup. I see this. I see exactly where spirit is going on over here. We have the 33 communication. You guys could be seeing a lot of sixes, a lot of threes. We have 33, 56, 26, 45. The fives, too. Talking about that change. Okay, so. Talk about this communication going on over here. Communication is needed um, to have this relationship change. This is a love partnership. This is not just a friendship. This is for love. There needs to be a change. You can feel it in the air. You know you are ready. Okay? However it is for you. Do the work. Spirit said it is not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Get out there. Find this love. Communicate with this love. If you've been putting it off and you haven't really been communicating or haven't communicated back, now is the time. There's something very divine about this relationship. We have the 33 coming in. That is a divine message from Spirit saying, I need you to communicate, right? <clears throat> Anything that you see double numbers of, you know, it's time to take action now. It's time. This is it. Okay, we have the blue heron coming in over here. This says, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. They don't, you know, like who you want to make a relationship change. Maybe you've been holding back because mom, dad, your friends, whoever doesn't think they disapprove of this situation. But you know deep down inside this is the right thing to do. Do it. It's divinely guided. Forward movement. We are waiting for the forward movement to this situation. This is going to bring in a lot of harmony. This is going to bring in a lot of balance, a lot of peace, a lot of happiness for you. Okay, so let's see what the cards have to say over here. Clarify on the relationships and, <clears throat> excuse me, the relationship change, please. And the love partnership. change there it is the world coming out on the relationship change it is time it is time to stand it is time to step out of the old relationship into a new relationship you're being called to do so you could be dealing with a fire sign a air sign it could be you know air anybody they're all there <clears throat> on the love partnership you have the ace of pentacles dang okay like i said this is the gift from the universe <clears throat> that's literally what it is it's the gift this is a gift this is a divine gift you have major arcana sitting next to an ace these are divine just like i said i already felt divine this is a soulmate coming in um forward movement yeah waiting for this opportunity Wanting this opportunity. Spirit says, it is time now. 20, that's 21. 2 plus 1 equaling 3. Again, 3, 3, 3. Plus the 1, the new opportunity. Bringing in the new. Walking out of the old. The old is not serving you well. Forward movement is the Ace of Cups. Gemini Christmas. You have the Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Your cups are overflown. If you're looking for peace and love within a relationship, this person has exactly what it is that you're looking for. Like I said, this is a divine gift, a blessing from the universe to you. This could feel very magical. This could feel very majestic. Um, uh, for some of you, it might even feel like a miracle, you know, to find someone like this. You may think that they were like this, but, you know, but just like, I don't know, maybe you're kind of like, I don't know if I should give them a chance, blah, 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 right? Give them a chance. This is a very stable uh, relationship. 
love partnership. It's very stable with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace, you know, the Pentacle is like a rock. It doesn't, you know, hey, at times things can get covered, but, you know, you just kind of sweep it off and it's still sitting there. You ain't moving a mountain, right? It can get covered with snow. Things can happen, but it's very stable. With the Ace of Cups, it's just overflowing, overflowing, and you have the Dove over here, which is talking about the peace, right, and a beautiful connection, having all the love that you are looking for. Everything that you are looking for is right there in front of your face, and the Blue Heron is bringing out the star. This is a wish come true. You guys have been manifesting a partner. Oh, my gosh, come on. Come, come, come now. Come, and here's the message, the message you need to put out. It's telling you, you need to reach out over here, fire signs. It's you. Yes, it's you who needs to reach out. It's your time. It's almost it feels like they've already been communicating to you. They've already said what they need to say, and now they're waiting for you, right? They're waiting for you to communicate. They're waiting for you to take the next step, right? Look at this, past life relationship and the ace of wands, or swords, excuse me. Yes, right? It's up to you to communicate. You see these messages coming in. You know this person is here. They've said a few things and they're waiting on you. Wow. So Spirit said it is your time. Your time to get in there. You fire signs. Oh my gosh. I was like, how many? Oh, we're going to get them all? Okay. We're going to get them all. That's fine. Give them to me all then. <laughs> right. Give them to me all. But this is what, it feels like a lot of you have manifested this. It is going to feel like magic. This relationship is a magical one. Um, if you have not manifested this, then this is just your souls calling out each other. And it is the divine union that you have always wanted, that you are looking for no matter what. Right? Right now you are at a milestone within the situation waiting for the homecoming. If you are waiting for this homecoming, here it is. It's right there. It is right there underneath your nose. It is time. Time for you to do the work. Time for you to step into your power, okay? Because it feels like a lot of you might just be sitting back, kind of looking at the situation, but have not answered that call. Where, Guys, where's that text? I don't feel, I don't see the text coming through. Let's get texting, right? If they're at work and they keep coming in, and you know it's the guy that repairs whatever, or he brings in the water bottles, or, you know, whatever it is, you know, it is time. If it's the mailman, he keeps giving me my mail, but dang, dang, I need to say something, right? You need to communicate. Use that throat chakra. Beautiful reading. Once you do this, you're going to realize how beautiful this relationship really truly is. Okay, guys, could be dealing with some kind of Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. You could be dealing with another fire sign or somebody with fire in their chart. Yep, it's time for you to give so that you can, wow, wait for your Ten of Pentacles to come through. Look at that. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn. That's what I got there, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so there you have it, my friends. Wow, beautiful reading. Okay, until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.